Today I'm going to show you how to transform your photograph in Photoshop. There's going to come a time in a particular photo when you need to scale an individual layer to make it bigger or smaller. So in this video I'm going to show you a really quick tip on how you can scale your layer easily, efficiently, and while keeping everything in proportion. The first thing we need to do is bring up our free transform box. Now there's two ways that we could do this. The first way is to go up to edit and select free transform. This will bring up your bounding box for your layer. Another way that you could do it is by using the keyboard shortcut Command T or Control T on a PC. Sometimes when you open up your free transform box, it'll be difficult to see all four corners of your bounding box. But there's an easy fix for this. Simply hit Command Zero or Control Zero on a PC, and that will zoom all the way out until you can see all four corners. Now that we can see all four corners, let's scale this basketball to size. But first, I'm going to show you how to do it the wrong way. You'll notice around the bounding box, there are pivot points. One one in each corner in the middle of each side. I can hover over any one of those points and by doing so I get a directional arrow. If I were to just click on any one of these arrows and start moving it around you can clearly see that this will begin to distort this basketball making it look horrible. Could you imagine if this was somebody's face? It's not a good look. So all I'm gonna do is hit escape and start over. I'll choose command T on a Mac or control T on a PC and instead of just pulling on these bounding box what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the shift key down. By holding the shift key, this will constrain the box. Just know that this does not work if you grab the points from the center of the line. This only works when you hold shift and click from the corners out. So again, I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to hit command T, hold shift, and head up to the corners and scale this down. Once I'm done, I can move it into position, and this is starting to look much better. Something else that you should know is that you could actually rotate this bounding box too. If you head on over to the outside of any corner, you'll notice that your arrows turn from a 45 degree angle to what I like to refer to as a boomerang. Once you get the boomerang, you simply click and drag with your mouse and this will rotate the bounding box in any direction that you want. Notice that the box is pivoting from the center. So no matter where I go, the center stays the same. The reason for this is because there's a pivot point in the center of this bounding box. Also note that if I hold my shift key down while I'm scaling, that what it's doing is it's scaling from the bottom corner. But what if I want this to scale from the center? All I'd have to do for that is hold shift option or shift alt on a PC and grab my corners. And now as I move in and out to scale this image, you notice that it's scaling from the center and not from a corner. One last thing to mention, the pivot point in the center of this bounding box can actually be moved. If you click on it, you can drag it to anywhere that you want. If I were to put it in the upper right hand corner and then head to the bottom left hand corner, get the boomerang arrow and begin to rotate this image, you'll notice that what it's doing now is it's rotating from the pivot point up in that right hand corner. So you can move this pivot point anywhere that you want inside of the photo and then rotate from that position. Once I have the correct scale and rotation, I simply hit enter. And that's how you resize a layer inside of Photoshop. 